Hello friends, in this lecture I will introduce you to metal welding process. By the end of this lecture you will be able to understand what welding is, how to classify different welding processes and you will learn about various welding joints. So what is welding? Welding is actually an art of joining two metal pieces. Usually we use a welding torch and this is how we melt the joining edges also known as uh, the faying surfaces like this and then we, uh, a joint is accomplished. Sometimes we may use filler rods. Now what are these filler rods? Filler rods are nothing but they are thin sticks of metal which are melted and deposited in between the contact surface of two plates. Now apart from fusion we can also weld two uh, plates using pressure and localized heating. An example of this is spot welding. Also using friction, electric arc, laser, plasma etc we can uh, join two plates. I will make separate videos for all uh, the, uh, these different welding processes in the subsequent videos. Ok, so now before going to welding, uh, let us uh, see the family of joining processes. Apart from welding, we can also join metals using adhesive bonding and various mechanical fastening techniques. Examples of uh, adhesive bonding uh, or adhesive joining are joining using glues, epoxies, etc. While mechanical uh, fastening is done with the help of, you, you have seen screws, bolt, nuts and rivets. So now can you guess a major difference between welding and uh, the remaining two joining processes? You can pause the video uh, for a second and then think. Okay, the difference is that welding is a permanent joint while these two uh, are temporary joints. Fine. Okay, now let us uh, focus on welding. See, there are uh, primarily three types of welding, fusion welding, solid uh, state welding and brazing and soldering. In fusion welding, what we do is we melt the joining edges and then a permanent bond is produced. Examples of fusion welding are um, gas welding and various uh, variants of arc welding. Then in the second uh, part, in, in the solid state welding, the joining edges are not melted. Here is the difference, but heated to a plastic state and then joined using pressure or force. For example, in friction welding or resistance welding, spot welding, we use uh, this um, solid state uh, welding technique. Finally, in brazing and soldering, the base metal is not disturbed at all. Only the filler rod is melted. Okay. Usually, uh, the brazing and soldering joints have lowest strengths among all other welding techniques. Okay, so one more way to classify the welding techniques is on the basis of the use of filler metals. A welding process can be said to be autogenous if no filler metal is used. Okay, the solid state welding techniques are all the solid state uh, welding techniques uh, are usually autogenous because we don't use any filler uh, rods there. Next, a welding process is said to be homogeneous if we use filler metal of the same composition as that of the parent metal. Okay. And finally, heterogeneous welding is uh, that type of welding where the filler metal is something different from the base metals. Metals, example, brazing in brazing and soldering, the base metal and the filler rod are of different uh, composition. So the, uh, you can consider them as heterogeneous welding. Now let us see in how many different ways we can join two plates. If the two plates are joined sideways in such a way that they lie on the same plane, then this is called butt joint. If, however, the plates are welded in this position, one over the other, it is called lap joint. Now, again, if the plates are joined in uh, in this fashion, it is called T joint. They resemble the English letter T. Next, if we uh, join corners of two plates in uh, in, in this uh, in this manner, it is called the corner joint. And finally, when we joined, uh, when we join or weld at the edges, this type of joints are called edge joints. So this was all um, for today. The basic of uh, welding technique. S uh, subscribe uh, this channel to see more such videos and stay updated with different welding techniques. Thank you.